In this lecture, let's discuss MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. So MCP was introduced by Anthropic and it is an open source standard that acts like a bridge between AI agents. These AI agents could be chatbots, for example, Salesforce agents or ChatGPT or Cloud agent, or they can be code assistants. So in our cursor, we have a code assistant. In our VS code using GitHub Copilot, we can access to this code assistant. So this MCP is like a bridge between these AI agents and external data sources, for example, database, APIs or local files. Now, before seeing different parts of MCP, Let's first understand why this is actually needed. So here, let's understand this with an example. Let's say that you have an AI agent. It could be your agent force agent or it could be your cloud agent. Now before MCP, let's say that you ask your agent to perform a job. For example, to the agent force agent, we say that create an invoice in the PayPal or maybe to a cloud agent, I say that retrieve Salesforce records or retrieve Salesforce account records. Now for this agent force agent, it cannot generate the invoice in the PayPal because you may not have written the custom action or the custom services which can invoke the PayPal system and perform different activities. So your agent will not be able to do that unless you build a connection and you know you write some services similarly if you ask cloud agent retrieve account records since it does not know that how to retrieve records from salesforce or it does not have connection to that it won't be able to do that so in simple words, these AI agent does not have tool to create invoice in PayPal system or to upload file in Google Drive or box.com or to send messages to Slack unless you provide connection from one agent to these applications and different services that they provide. Now that is where MCP comes into picture. Now these applications, Slack, Google, GitHub, Salesforce or box.com or PayPal, what they will do is through MCP, they will give you access to the different tools that you can use. For example, PayPal will give you tool to create invoice in PayPal system. Salesforce will give you tool to query data from Salesforce system to deploy some component into Salesforce system. Slack will give you tool to send a message to the Slack system. Similarly, Google Drive will give you different tools to perform different activities on the Google Drive. And now through MCP, we will be able to connect to all of these different services and can access all of these tools. So now when a user asks AI agent to send a message to the Slack, then what it will do is using this MCP server, it will check what are the tools available through Slack server. So one of the tool would be send a message and now using that tool it will be able to send message again there will be authorization needed here uh, you need a unique key to perform activities in slack or google drive or github so that's all comes under this mcp connection with these different servers similarly if you are on a cloud a code or cursors a assistant or github's copilot assistant and you say that retrieve account records from salesforce then your MCP client will first check what are the tools available from Salesforce MCP. There will be a tool to query the Salesforce data and now it will use that tool to perform this activity. So now we can say that these agents will be able to talk to these different applications and can access data from these system. We know that AI agents are trained on existing data. So if you ask a question, it can only answer question from that data. So if you want to perform some activity on some application like retrieving Salesforce data, you will have to give it access to that. Now you won't directly give it access to that. Rather Salesforce will provide set of tools to any AI agent. Now again, this MCP is not related to Salesforce it is for all the different AI agents. So Salesforce will build tools for agents running on chat GPT or on cloud A or on cursor anywhere. And they will use that to perform different activities on Salesforce. I think it is very difficult to understand through this theoretical definition of what MCP actually is. I think we should see it practically. But before that, I wanted to show the different parts of MCP so that you can correlate it. So an MCP has different parts first of all you have a mcp host where your ai agent run for example cursors cursors ai assistant github copilots ai assistant or salesforce agent force ai agent and then they uses this mcp client to talk to the mcp server through this mcp protocol so mcp stands for model context protocol so that's the protocol that the client will use to 
to talk to the server and then these servers are connected to different applications and the different tools that they offer so from this mcp server it has access to all the tools provided by github it has access to all the tools provided by slack it has all the tools provided by local file system or again maybe if it is connected to salesforce then it has all the tools provided by salesforce so whenever user ask anything to the ai agent which is the host it will use mcp client which will go to the mcp server and check with that application salesforce what are the tools available there and now whatever the user query is let's say that retrieve account records this mcp server will know that these are the 10 to 15 tools given by salesforce using this which tool i can use to retrieve the account records so i think you understood these terminology what is mcp mcp is a protocol it has different components the mcp host mcp client mcp server and the mcp protocol itself so let's just see one example i'm going to show you this example in vs code so here i am in the vs code and i have this agent here which is basically the github copilots agent and i have the agent mode enabled here now this can perform different activities you know that yeah, it can create code it can create lwc component and whatnot but when i ask it to perform something on my salesforce org so here you see in this code editor i'm connected to my salesforce org so to this org if i ask it to perform some activities like you know deploy this apex class or query account records or find how many system admin users are there or different type of work that i want it to do it cannot do it because it does not know how to do that or it does not know what is the data residing in salesforce so let me just ask it i'm going to say that right now the mcp server is not available here so without mcp server if i ask it query all the accounts from salesforce org and show in a tabular manner then it will just give you some general instruction that to query salesforce account you can run the sokal query and whatnot because we have not set up the mcp and it does not know how to query salesforce records or it does not have connection set up to the salesforce org so it cannot perform that activity now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this folder and i'm going to create a new file i'm going to call it mcp .json, and that's how you will connect different mcp servers in your org and here i am going to paste this uh, server configuration so here i am saying that uh, i have a mcp server from salesforce so so this is coming from salesforce slash mcp so this is salesforce dx uh, mcp dx stands for salesforce developer experience and now i have one server added here mcp server added here and i can start that from here or i can actually start it from there there also so you see right now in this org i have one mcp server added which is salesforce so i will start this server and now you see it is connecting to that server and okay salesforce mcp server running on stdio so that is what here it is and now uh, let me start a new chat i'll just copy this query here now you see that it is using salesforce mcp server to first of all find out who's this user uh, you know who's this logged in user and from his org it is fetching the account records so let's just see this here it said that uh, it is using the mcp project and here it is saying that you must inform the user that we are going to use this one which is my username of this salesforce org and then it uses this tool so this is actually a tool i'll just show you the, what are the different tools that it is going to perform a query in this org select id name account name account number type industry phone now it has access to the org as well as it has access to different tools provided by salesforce mcp server and because of that it is able to now query account records so what what happened last time was it did not had access to different tools and the org itself to perform activity so it was not able to do that but the moment we enable this mcp server here which is salesforce mcp server now this server gives 10 different tools which we were discussing that through mcp you will give different tools to your agents and using these tools it is performing these activity so let me just show you these different tools in cursor as well so here you see this this is my cursors ide and here also i have the cursors agent right now you see that there is no custom mcp added it has github and slack here i have not connected it and there is no custom mcp as well so i'm going to connect to my salesforce mcp in cursor as well because here i can show you those different 10 tools that's what i wanted to show here so here i'm just going to copy paste the same configuration it is little different here it is called mcp servers in there we were calling it just servers and let me just save it now 
now if i come back here you will see that now i have a mcp tool added here which is salesforce dx and in this we get 10 different tools so let's just click here you see i have sf get username and you can understand what is this now again who's giving these tools these are given by salesforce dx team similarly if you add paypal here then paypal will give you different tools create an invoice in the paypal system similarly if you add a mcp server for slack or for box.com then box.com will give you different tools how to upload a file upload a file in the box.com create a folder in the box.com so these are the tools that is given by the application itself right and the moment you add that now your agent has access to these tools and using these tools it will perform those activity so for example when we asked it and let's just ask it here as well because now we have this server so let me just ask it here in the agent mode So now you see that it is calling called SF get username because it needs to know that which org it is going to connect. So then it got that and this SF get username is one of the tool here. You see SF get username, right? And then uh, it is preparing the query that it needs to run there. And now it is calling SF query org. So here you see this SF query org is, is one of the tool given by this MCP server. So using this, it is able to send the query to Salesforce org. And from there, it is actually getting back the response. So here it is sending the query as select ID name from account. And now it used this SF query org. So through that, it is able to connect to the Salesforce org and it is able to get the account data. So these are the different tools given by Salesforce MCP server. Similarly, for all the other application, as we discussed, PayPal or Box or uh, GitHub, they will give these tools. And once we have our server ready, so here in this MCP server, I have Salesforce connected now and you connect all of your server, then your agent will be able to understand that which application needs to be executed and from there, which tool needs to be executed to perform that task. And we did not build this service. This agent can actually perform this task directly using these different tools.